The Beta FPV Lite Radio 3 has been treating me very well these past couple weeks. Not only have I been using the internal module here to fly my small drones, I've also used the external module here to fly my Express LRS drones as well. Now I made a video on the features and how to set this whole radio up. I'll leave a link above and below so you can see it. Now during the setup video, I did show you how to set up this module here, but we did have some difficulty in trying to set up this crossfire module that you see here on this Jumper T Lite. And the issue in particular was the fitment of this nano module. It just didn't connect to the terminals of the external bay. So today we're gonna to install and set up crossfire on our Lite Radio 3. Okay, so we have all our equipment here today. A lot of the stuff here is optional. We have two drones here and they're both Crossfire drones. We have our Smart 35 right here by GEPRC and we have our x 35 by Beta FPV. Now these are both Crossfire drones and the only thing that's different is the fact that one is digital and the other is an analog drone. So yes, that's pretty cool. Besides that, we have our Crossfire module, which is the TBS Crossfire Nano module right here. And this is the module that is compatible with the Light Radio 3. We also have our tool here to dismantle and remove this case. Now, before I do this whole thing, I wanna confirm that this Crossfire module does work with my drones. So we're gonna make sure that we have all the parameters in here and just make sure that it connects so that when we do put this onto this Light Radio 3, there's no issues or variables in there. And my module, as you can see, is powered. All right, so let's just make sure, now we have telemetry, I can see it right here. Looks pretty good. Everything is clear here, let's see if these switches work. The buzzer works, and let's see if it arms. All right, so this does work. So we're using 100 milliwatts right here. I'm gonna unplug my drone here. Now there's only a 1S battery in here, but it is 2000 milliamp hour battery, so it should be decent for hopefully 100 milliwatts. Okay, so the biggest issue here is that this module does not touch. And I did indicate that in my previous video, and there's no way for these connectors to touch the pins on the radio. Beta FPV does indicate that there is another case that will make this compatible with this radio, and I just couldn't find it on the website. So, Ah, let's look around for this uh, product that I bought. So sure enough, I have the box right here and I was like, let's open this up to see if there's anything that I missed. And sure enough, I open this thing up and <laughs> there's a spare case in here. And as you can see, it's a lot deeper than the first case. All right, so let's remove this screw here. Pretty easy. All right, so the second screw is off. And what I see here is the first half of the module is stuck to the front, which is good. It has the little button in the front here. And there's another connector here on the back. And that's what, that's what interfaces with the pins on your radio. So I just have to remove this screw and attach this back to the back of the new case here. Screw, that's pretty simple. And you want to get the orientation right. So let's see here. That's how it should be. And we're just going to reinstall it in here. All right. So here's your original case. We're going to remove that, put that to the side. Easy as that. And then put these, wow, that was, that was like, Magical. All right. All right, we have a nice seal here. Let's see now, this is the biggest part right here. Let's see if this thing fits in here. It looks like it's gonna fit, it's a little bit deeper. So let's line up these pins and see if this thing works, guys. There we go. All right. So now we have a nice, module that fits in the back of my light radio 3. So the time has come. Let's see if I power on this radio, if this module is going to come on. And you can see it, it's flashing. Let's put a battery in this drone and see if this thing pairs. I have everything set to off. All right, 
let's take these off. Uh, I don't have a, a green light here. Let's see here. The beeper, no beeper. Nothing. It's not connecting guys. Interesting. So it's not as easy as just swapping the module over and seeing if it works. There is a bind button here, but I don't want to, I don't want to hit that. It should be green is not. All right guys, so I've had some time to play around with the Light Raider 3 and this Crossfire Nano module here. And unfortunately for me, I had to actually do it the old fashioned way. And that requires you pushing the bind button on the Nano module right here and then actually pushing the bind button on your receiver in the drone. Now I was trying to avoid this because when I tested this with my jumper T light, I could switch from model to model without anything. Meaning I thought that all the information would be stored already in this module. And it probably is, uh, but I was expecting it to perform just like Express LRS. Meaning when you flash your drone or flash your module, all the information is stored already in here. There could be reasons why it doesn't work with the Crossfire module, especially with this combination, because this is not really an open TX radio and there's no way to interface with this module. So let's see now if this thing here works. We still have a yellow light on here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And you can see it immediately it went to green and then we have a solid green light here as well. That means that these two are connected. So we have a connection here. We can try and see if everything here works. This switch here isn't assigned. Let's try the beeper. All right, beeper works and then the arm, this is not really advisable here, but we'll do it here quickly. And as you can see, the drone comes alive, it comes to life here. So let's unplug it. Let's get this drone reassembled here and then we're gonna go outside and take it for, yeah, a first flight with this Crossfire module. Here we are, we're gonna try and fly this drone here with this Crossfire Nano module. We got the Beta FPV Light Radio 3. Weather is pretty nice out here. Winds are between five and 10 miles an hour. Beautiful day, a little cool, but no big deal there. All right, camera is good, surprisingly, compared to what I just flew. All right, let's do it.
Okay, so we're back from our flight test and the Light Raider 3 performed really well with this Crossfire module in the back here. Really, really well. So let's get down to it. The first thing I noticed when I flew this was just trying to get back familiarized with the layout and the telemetry of the Crossfire system. It's been a while since I used Crossfire and it was just kind of weird just analyzing and interpreting what I saw on the screen. And I did use this at 100 milliwatts only because I did do a, a prior test with the Express LS module. And just to have a more controlled environment and a more predictable result, I did keep this also at 100 milliwatts. As well, I wasn't too sure how well this radar was gonna handle a higher output of this Crossfire module. But 100 milliwatt is pretty adequate both for Express LRS and definitely for Crossfire. Now flying this, it did fly pretty good. The drone was responsive. And I can't really give you a good representation of if it's as quick as Express LRS. In my opinion, it didn't feel as snappy as Express LRS, but there's a lot of factors playing a role in that. I'm using a different controller here. I'm using the Crossfire Nano module and I'm using a different drone. So the drones that I tested Express LRS on was obviously a, also a three and a half inch drone, but it wasn't this, you know, it wasn't the Smart 35, it was the Baby Hawk 2. Now, obviously I flew around, I flew around close for a while because I wasn't too sure about how well this was gonna perform. Um, so I did keep it close, doing some gingerly fine. Obviously this is not a flight where I'm doing acrobatics or any kind of freestyle maneuvers. It's just to see how well this performs, if I'm gonna lose any range or any control link with the drone. And just taking it easy, just trying to fly into difficult areas. And throughout the whole time, it worked pretty well. One thing I did notice though was that depending on how close I was or how far I flew, then you could see the link quality changing in the actual telemetry on the on-screen display. And that's similar to, you know, Express LRS. So I would start off at link quality two, and as I go further, it would go to one. Obviously, I think I may have had this set to dynamic, I guess, uh, refresh rate or dynamic packet rate. But yes, I went to the area by the swing set, by the play area where there's a lot of buildings, trees, uh, steel, and just buildings and you know, it worked pretty well. No micro fail safes, no messages, it worked pretty well. But anyways, overall, this Light Radio 3 performed very well. I was really concerned about how this thing is gonna perform if it can interact with the Crossfire module and it did the job really well. My only concern about this whole thing is just, you know, the battery life. And I'm sure you can crank this up to maybe 250 milliwatts. I probably wouldn't go above that. I think this module probably can support up to 500, so a half watt. But at that point, I don't think this 1S battery in here might be able to do that, but I didn't want to take the chance anyways. But beyond that, guys, I am thoroughly pleased with the performance of this. I'm really excited or just pretty kind of proud, actually, that this thing does work with Crossfire. I mean, it was advertised that it did, but, you know, it did perform very well. So having said that guys, this thing is pretty cool. If you can get one of these, it is compatible. If you do have some Crossfire you know, modules or receivers in your drone, it is compatible, it can work. And for me, this is a good thing because this now makes this a really perfect travel radio. If I do wanna go on a road trip or somewhere, I don't have to bring my professional gear or a big full-size radio. I can just toss this in my bag, put one or two drones in my bag and go for a trip. And if I do damage this or someone steals it, it's not that expensive. So yeah guys, this thing is a go. So let me know what you think about this radio down below. You know, there's not too many videos on how to install Crossfire to the Light Radio 3 module. And that's how you for good reason because maybe a beginner may not be interested in Crossfire. But if you do have a Crossfire module and you have this as a travel radio, which as I said before, this is how you do it guys. So if you got any information from this video or enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you have any questions about this radio and how to set this up with the Crossfire Nano module, I'll leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer those. And while you're there, please consider subscribing to the channel. Therefore, you'll be notified whenever I do drop a new FPV video. So once again, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.